Hey everybody, welcome back to Merton Hyundai and Ed's Garage. Today I'm looking at the 2020 Hyundai Tucson Preferred with Optional Trend Package. This is a great package. It's a really, really reasonable priced vehicle with a lot of awesome features. And the features is what we're gonna cover today. I had a customer come in and I showed him this vehicle and I was gonna send him a video and I didn't even realize I didn't have one, so gotta make the video, right? All right, let's start at the front of the Tucson with Trend Package. So first off, you'll notice we do have fog lights they're currently turned on they're actually right above the daytime running light so that's an LED daytime running light right below that uh, we've got projector headlights as well as another cool LED strip of lighting right here we've got the um, the nice hexagonal grill so the hexagonal cascading grill the cascading grill of course meant to represent flowing metal because of course Hyundai is the only company manufacturing their own steel gives us over 50% advanced high strength steel on this vehicle making it a top safety pick or at least that's one of the things that makes it a top safety pick now on this particular vehicle we have uh, Michelin tires they are wrapped around a beautiful aluminum alloy wheel those are 18 inch wheels uh, we have uh, date, uh, the side marker lights for the turn signals. You'll notice we've got proximity entry, so it's a simple matter of pushing the button to open up the door. Unlock the doors. All right, let's have a look at the back first. So we'll open up the back here. Now you'll notice we've got one seat down. It's a 60-40 split rear bench. And I'd like to point out just how nice the transition is right from the bumper lip all the way over the seat back. So if you are loading larger items in here, it's really easy to do because it's a nice flat transition all the way across. This seat right now is currently reclined a little bit, so it would normally sit in a slightly higher position. Uh, but the floor has a neat trick. If we take the floor, we can actually pull it out, drop it down, put it back in, gives us a little bit of extra height. And the nice thing is if you ever get one of those um, privacy covers that mounts in the back here, you can actually store that underneath the floor. It comes out of this spot, covers up this whole area, and goes underneath. Of course, that would normally be under the floor. Back here, we've also got a 12-volt power outlet for a powered cooler. And that's pretty much it. So let's close the hatch. On the hatch, you can see we got the backup camera there. And of course, the H-Track badge, so that's Hyundai's branding for their all-wheel drive system. The all-wheel drive system from Hyundai is manufactured or designed and engineered here in Canada by a company called Magna International. It's a fantastic system. It's proactive, putting power to the rear wheels under any sort of acceleration to prevent the front slipping. Now, it'll also put power to the, uh, to the rear when the front slips, but the cool thing is, is that's not going to happen very often because it's already doing so under acceleration. There's also a lock switch to lock it in full-time all-wheel drive, which I'll show you momentarily. All right, let's go back to the outside of the vehicle here. We've also got the 2.4 liter engine in this vehicle. So the Tucson comes with a two or a 2.4 liter, both naturally aspirated. The 2.4 obviously making more power. Uh, and that's mated to a six speed automatic, um, regular good old fashioned bulletproof automatic transmission. No CVTs, no dual clutches in this one. All right, we have the chrome tip exhaust, which is really nice. And you'll notice we've got the cross or the uh, sorry the side rails straddling the outside of the huge panoramic roof. So first off, let's have a look at the back seat. We'll get this out of the way. All right, so this is a little bit troublesome to do with one hand, but I think I got it. There we go. Okay. All right, so now I am six foot two. And I had this chair pretty far back, but as you can see, I still got plenty of leg room. The nice thing about the floor in this one is that I can stick my feet right underneath the front seat. There's lots of room there. And we do have a center cup holder armrest here. It's padded, so it's nice and soft. And as I was mentioning before, we have reclining back seats, so I can put this seat back as well, just like that. And the seats back here are even heated. Check this out. So on each of the doors, there's a little button there that you can actually enable the heated seat. Now that is for the outer two seats. Look at the size of this beautiful sunroof. Look at that. Now we were the largest in class panoramic roof and I think we still are. I don't think anyone's got a bigger panoramic roof yet. And that's because we use more advanced high strength steel. So the structure of the vehicle can be maintained even with such a large vehicle, uh, large roof. All right, let's move to the front. So before we get into the vehicle, I want to show you the uh, driver's seat on this one is power and it's height adjustable, tilt adjustable. There's your seat back. And of course we have the two-way lower back support, lumbar support. 
So as you can see here, we have the button for the lane keep assist. So that's right. So not only does it have uh, the lane departure warning system, the autonomous emergency braking, it can even steer itself down the road, assuming you're going over 60 kilometers an hour and the uh, car can see the lines painted on the road. So great for highway driving. Uh, it's not an autonomous vehicle, but it does give you uh, some really good um, uh, uh, lane keep assist features in, an, in the case of an emergency or whatnot. There's the button to lock in the four wheel drive system. So now it'd be full time all wheel drive. There's your button for your blind spot monitor and rear cross traffic alert. So as you can see in the mirror, that's essentially what it would look like if there's a car in your blind spot or if somebody was walking past the back of the car, not only would you see it in this beautiful backup camera, so let's just switch to the backup camera screen here. Now, don't mind it being a little bit dark like that. There we go, brighten it up. Uh, it's just because it's quite bright outside, so my phone is basically just darkening everything here. So there you can see. Uh, so we've got dynamic steering lines. So that moves with the steering wheel. And of course the rear cross traffic alert will actually tell me which side cross traffic is coming from even before they're in the view of the camera. Looking down at the center console here, we got hill descent assist. So the vehicle will maintain a speed of about eight kilometers an hour while going down hills, uh, assuming that you started um, that bef uh, within 40 kilometers an hour. Drive mode, so you've got different drive modes. Uh, so I'll show you what that does here. So if I put it on sport, and there you can see the little sport icon popping up. Sport mode will tighten up the steering wheel and it'll also make the vehicle a little bit more responsive uh, by adjusting the shift points. Down here we've got a 12 volt outlet, a 12 volt outlet, and a USB port for the, of course, free Android Auto Apple CarPlay system that's built into the vehicle. Uh, and it's also got Blue Link. So Blue Link is our telematic system. As you can see the buttons up here for that. So that's call for roadside assistance, call for Google navigation assistance. And this is an emergency button. Don't worry about the flickering. It's not actually doing that in real life. That's just the refresh rate of the camera. Beside the three home link buttons for garage doors and gates. So Blue Link is a system whereby from your cell phone, you can actually remotely start the car find it on a Google map, unlock the doors, lock the doors. As long as you have an internet connection with your cell phone and the car is somewhere within a cellular range uh, of, of a cell tower, then you can actually remotely do that. So if you're on vacation in Australia and you want to open up the doors in Canada, you can let your friend in to grab their stuff, for instance. All right, so that's pretty cool. That's free for three years. Now we do have push button start, as you can see here. And on the steering wheel, we have controls for multimedia as well as the voice recognition button for the Android Auto Assistant or the Siri Assistant on CarPlay. Cruise control. This is a fully heated steering wheel, the whole thing. Nice leather wrapped heated steering wheel. So not only that, also heated seats in the front as well, of course. And you got auto headlights and fog lights, as I mentioned, outside. All right. So there you have it. That is pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about on this particular vehicle. So if you have any questions about this car that I haven't answered, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below, or you can call me directly if you're living in the area and you want to come check one out at 604-795-0836. I'm in the Chilliwack area of British Columbia, and I'd be more than happy to help you out. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.